Hi, my name is Bayan Hosseini, CEO of ILFF. Please come in. At ILFF, our patient-centred and interdisciplinary approach ensures the best outcomes for your patients. Our expert team works hand-in-hand -hand to create a comprehensive management and rehabilitation plan to ensure their speedy recovery. My name's John, I'm 18 years old, and my life came to a sudden change when I was hit by a car. <laughs> Um, so John is a very interesting patient with history of uh, all, uh, traumatic brain injury uh, which was introduced to me after he being discharged from the inpatient rehabilitation. Uh, upon the impression of John, I think he's a really smart, uh, active guy, but his restraint from his disability was just very unfortunate. We recognise that working within an interdisciplinary team is often challenging due to miscommunication, lack of understanding about the role of each healthcare professional. Our weekly team meetings allow for collaboration between the various healthcare professionals in the presence of the patient and their family and be aware of the various aspects of their treatment. Working with the team has been really good. They've been treating me well throughout the whole process, helping me understand how my body works and setting achievable goals for me to work towards. They explain everything to me, they listen, and the whole program has just really been a partnership. Uh, as John GP, my main goal is to monitor his medical conditions closely as well as identify any medical issues or psychological issues when he returns to the community. Uh, for example, I have been informed by the radiographer that if John develops any new neurological symptoms, uh, he will need a referral for a CT or MRI scan. Uh, by collaborating with other case management team, I can ensure appropriate referral for further investigations and treatments to help John to get the best quality of life. So I've got the Webster pack ready for him. Mm -hmm. I thought that would be a better way for him to manage his medication. As the pharmacist, it will be my role to ensure that John receives the best pharmacological treatment for his conditions. I will be helping to ensure that he receives continuity of care once in the community setting and will be performing clinical interventions with the help of the doctor and the nurse to ensure the best drug therapy. The ILF team have also been really supportive at home. They've been working with my social workers, making sure that I've been improving in my speech, my movement, and just making sure that I've been coping with everyday life. And I have been. Not only have they helped myself, but they've also helped my family throughout this process. And that really means a lot to me. As John's nurse, I've been helping coordinate John's care with the other health professionals in our ILF case management team. I'm calling because about um, his antibiotics. He hasn't been on antibiotics since he's discharged from hospital and I'm worried that he might get an infection because he had a splenectomy. I've been visiting him at his house uh, once a week to check on his health so that we're ultimately basing our care on our patient and making sure that it's tailored to them so that they can feel empowered to um, make a difference in their health. My role as John's physio is to help him get back into his goals of playing soccer and also going back to tape and getting him back into his previous routine. This involves me working together with the occupational therapist to discuss how John is affected at home and also to meet up with the nurse on how to implement his home exercise and rehabilitation program. This involves also educating his mum, John himself, the social carers and workers that he has around him as well. My job is to improve John's ability to communicate in a functional and socially appropriate way. This includes increasing his insight of his difficulties, getting him to slow down his speech rate, as well as working on his social communication skills. John wishes to go back to TAFE. I have been working with the occupational therapist to make sure that we are providing him with the necessary support. 
I also work closely with John's family. This includes providing them with some communication strategies that they can use to help John practice his communication skills in everyday situations. Since the accident, I have noticed improvements in all aspects of my life. I'm currently taking IT classes at TAFE and I've also been getting back into soccer. And because of the ill team, I'm now able to look forward to the life that's ahead of me. Thank you.